there's a lot that needs to happen today. Eh. And none of it has a chance unless we get some coffee. Stat. Coffee. Well, we are joining this one kind of midstream. We've already been through the morning session, got here and had to get right to work this morning. And once again, being so dang busy, juggling so many of the things, just couldn't shoot a whole lot. But morning session rocked. We actually have to take a little field trip right now because the worst of things is going on and that we're running out of coffee. So we got to run over to one of the other hotels that has a Starbucks in the lobby, get some beans. Well, right away this is interesting and I realized that we've been stuck inside for two days. What is the large glowing orb in the sky? And it's hot. Oh, it also looks like it's gonna rain, but welcome to Florida. Well, at least when we got here, there was, there was nobody else in line. Well, it took some waiting, some doing, but crisis averted. We still got a day and a half to get through this conference, this crew without coffee. I don't, I don't even want to think about it because that would, that would be bad. And I'm not sure that the attendees would appreciate it either. We're okay. You know what's cool? Not only are these two guys amazing editors, they're my friends and they're rocking this event. Transition. Oh, the best laid plans of mice and men. I didn't say that. I mean, I, I did just say that, but it was actually written by a guy named Robert Burns in 1937, but it has absolutely nothing to do with this now slightly strange episode, which is well after the event that I was working in Tampa. If you've seen any of my other travel and work videos, you know that I'm generally in a city for about 72 hours and that's where the title of this series comes in. Knowing that I would be in Tampa for about a week, I decided to try to go daily and do daily uploads as opposed to trying to do one massive video that would have covered that entire week. And everything started fine. I would do my work during the day, shoot for the vlog as I was able, and then I would go back to the hotel and edit for two or three hours a night and put up a video the next day. Full disclosure, I knew that the deeper I got into that week and once the actual conference kicked off, that it would be very challenging to get footage. And that's exactly how it played out. So here's a few things that I learned while trying to do daily vlogging in a very, very busy week. First of all, vlogging is a very solo project. Nobody is gonna care about it anywhere near as much as you do, so it's all on you. If you haven't seen Peter McKinnon's video on this very thing, please go watch it because I think if you've done any kind of vlogging at all, you will definitely relate. And I'm sure that Mr. McKinnon could use the hits that this very, very influential channel will send his way. It, it's a good watch. He really unpacks just how on your own you are when trying to do something like this. Secondly, life happens. When I mentioned in those first few videos how busy I was, that wasn't embellishing. It really was a crazy, crazy busy week. But bottom line, that's my real job and that's always gonna have priority. So a little project like this is going to have to take a back seat. Thirdly, I guess it's something that we've all heard before, fail forward. Now, I don't know if I would call what happened a full failure, but I definitely didn't accomplish all that I set out to do. And that's okay, because I learned a ton, more than I could ever list here. And who knows, maybe I'll try something like that again. But 
I'll take what I learned and I'll apply it next time and I hope that I'll have better results. And now we magically time travel back to Tampa, Florida to close this thing out. Well, this ends much like it began with a big mess. Everything that came out of a box has got to go back in a box now and then onto trucks. And actually most of that stuff will sit for almost three months before we pull it out again in February of next year. Thanks for coming along with the ride on this fun week. I feel I should apologize for not being able to go daily, daily as I had intended. It just got so crazy busy. But I'm keeping in mind how I can add more content to this channel about the kind of work that I do. If you've got an idea, drop it down in the comments. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.